Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, it's time for a bit of an update on what I've been up to. The cows that I have started in 2022, some happy mail and um, some acquisitions. So let's get started. First of all, the mail is finally getting through and I received some late Christmas cards. I got this one it was posted on the 7th of December and has just arrived here down under in Australia this is from Lynn at Charm Grammy Crochet this is lovely because it's very humid a lot of rain at the moment and I love to see snow it's a beautiful card so thank you Lynette and I also received this one this week from Ella at no catchy name yes this was posted on the 15th of December and only just made it um, Ella's due to have her baby next week, which is exciting. I'll put a link to both these ladies in the description below. Check out their channels, subscribe if you like them. But thank you, Ella, that's lovely and thoughtful of you, especially as you're about to have a baby. <sighs> it's exciting. So my second year, I am going to do the Zetas Calendar Cow. I enjoyed it so much last year because there's a certain amount of room for creativity and um, I thought I would do it again this year. This year you can make anything you want. She shows you January pictures with her favorite colors and I decided I sell so many tea cozies and I have to make so many that this year I'm going to do tea cozies for Zeta's calendar cows. So my first January tea cozy is finished. Her favorite colors were purple and orange with the gray in the picture this is no set pattern this is just something that's in my head and I thought I'd put some twirly bits on top to make it a little different so this is my first tea cozy for Zetta's place calendar cow 2022 I'll probably put this up for sale in my Etsy shop or even sell it on my charity market store when I decide to do one but that is it it's in 100% acrylic um, Marvel yarn, it's just yarn from my stash, nothing I went out and bought. That's the other good thing about um, doing tea cozies in the calendar cowl. I can bust some of the yarn in my stash and try and reduce my stash. However, I did get some acquisitions this week. So I wanted to do um, the shawl along with my yarny corny, corner, Alex. It's hashtag my C shawl along 2022 now she released her first shawl pattern autumn wings and i've been waiting for this because i really like the look of it and i've gone and bought it it is a paid for pattern on etsy now in australian dollars i paid seven dollars 59 cents with tax i don't know what that is in pounds or us i didn't look at what it was now i actually ordered yarn for this but it was taking too long to get here. I had the pattern and I really wanted to get started. So I went out looking for yarn and I actually had found yarn at my BW, which is a big store here. They rarely put decent yarn on special, but they did. So the thing about the pattern, it's a four ply, which is like a fingering weight, I think you call it. And that's a very lightweight yarn for me. I rarely go that low. I know Karen Wright likes four ply. But when I was in Big W, I found Peyton's Baby Dreamtime Merino four ply yarn. And they had these three colours on sale. Now they're normally $10 um, a 50 gram ball. But they've got it at 50% off. So each ball was $5.00. And I bought two of each colour. And these are the colours I am doing my autumn wings shawl in. Not colours I would normally pick, but I got too impatient to make it. I've got about 19 rows to go before I do the lace row. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I will do a review on this pattern because it is a really good pattern. And you know me. I don't make shawls often. This is a the mini shawl is about the best I do. 
I'm not a big shawl maker, not the big shawls, ones that I can wear like a cow. And actually this is turning out so nice that um, I'm going to put it away and save it for when I do eventually get to go to visit my son in London. So yes, I'll put a link to Alex's Etsy shop where you can buy that shawl. Please support our um, Yarny community designers. Be encouraging. Um, I know she's done toy patterns before, but this is her first shawl pattern. And I think it's a reasonable price for a really well-written pattern. You won't be disappointed. Now, other acquisitions while I was in BW was, and yes, I don't buy, use four-ply, but I like this red. And they had Big Baby um, Four Ply in the colour Cherry on special. This is normally $8 a ball and I got it for 4 They only had this colour in my store on special. It is beautiful and soft. So maybe I'll start using more Four Ply because the yarn I actually ordered was from Bendigo Woolen Mills. And it did get here reasonably quick but not quick, quick enough for someone like me who's impatient looking at the pattern. And I'm sort of glad I didn't do it in these colours um, because I probably didn't work it out right. So I was going to use um, Space Grey as like the main, um, I'm not sure what you call it, the C colour. And then I was going to mix up... Um, This is called Summer Shower, which is like a lavender grey. This one is called Magnetic Mauves. And this one is Perfect Pink. Now this is super fine wool and it is a four ply and it's from Bendigo Woolen Mills here in Australia. It is beautiful and soft. It is $10, I think, a 50 gram ball around $10 a ball and there are dun, 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 see if I can see on oh, no, it tell me 155 meters in a ball so yes I do like that and I probably will do another um, project with that but I'm sort of glad I'm doing it in the Peyton super um, baby soft merino because I like the stronger colors in that so that was my other mail that arrived this week so i have been busy working on other whips that i haven't finished that i took into 2022 the one i'm currently trying to finish is the mixtape medley cow i'm up to about week six on that i got really behind during the christmas season uh, but yeah i am doing other stuff along with Try not to start too many cows. However, today Nan's Next Knots announced her fifth Luck of the Draw Make Along, which is starting on the 3rd of February. She showed the colour choices of her yarn and the reason behind those for her blanket. She's doing a queen size blanket. I will do another um, lap gown for charity. And yes, this morning I went and set up my whip card with the colours, but I'll talk about that once we're underway in February. Um, the other thing is the um, hashtag Rock22AU, my make along, is going really well. Um, for January, I have about 24 to 25 pictures posted from different ladies, some amazing stuff been posted in our Facebook group just blew, blows me away how they're interpreting their album covers so don't forget 1st of February I will do a prize draw for the people who posted pictures in January so get your pictures posted ladies or email them to me and don't forget if you do post them on Instagram or Facebook use the hashtag rock 2022 AU so I can find you um, so, in summary, ta -da, ta -da, I am over 1,500 subscribers, which is amazing. I couldn't do it in 2021, but I did it in the few months of, or the first month of 2022. And I always said I would do a um, subscriber draw for getting over 1,500 subscribers. 
it also happens to be on the 28th of January my vlog anniversary for my channel so I am going to do a mystery giveaway so it starts today which is the 22nd of January it's a Saturday here and it will close now the dates are a little funny on the 29th of January 11 59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Australia now all the usual YouTube rules and conditions apply they will be listed in the description below you must be over 18 years of age and you must be a subscriber now to enter into this draw you leave a comment on this video you answer my question using the word the answer to the question in your comment so my question is what is my favorite color now to all those new subscribers welcome i hope you enjoy my yarn adventures if you look back at some of the past videos and hopefully i'll link one up here that tells you my favorite color but use that in your comment below if you wish to go in the 15 over 1500 subscriber draw potiversary full-on draw but not only that because I am having so much fun with the Facebook group and the photos, I am actually going to do another prize draw for the Facebook group. I think we're currently at 130, maybe 132 members. So, yes, I'm just going to put all those names on the lucky wheel and draw someone at random on the um, 30, 30th of January. Let me have a look. Yes, 30th of January and pick a lucky winner from the Facebook group. Now the Facebook group is Judy Knitting and Crochet and more, something like that. And you can join the group. You're welcome to join the group. It'll be in the description below, the link to the group. But if you're about to join to enter the prize draw, you need to post at least one picture before the prize draw of a finished project or a whip in progress or some craft project you're working on to be eligible because those that have been members for a while have been posting pictures so yes you are welcome to join the Facebook group but please make sure you post a picture on the Facebook group once you're accepted as a member so yes both draws will be conducted sometime on the 30th of January and I'll put up a video and currently they're mystery prizes because as you can see mail is taking an awful long time it is open worldwide so depending on who wins that will be the prize and I'll let you know in the video what the prizes are so is there anything else today no it's just very 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 wet outside so we're a little housebound um, Reeves and I are going to work on something for my work to do with the scholarships our 50th anniversary presentation of tertiary education scholarships happens on Thursday the 27th it's a big deal we're giving away a lot of money to young adults going off to university I think we've got like five going off to study medicine and surgery two going off to study dentistry two going off to do engineering, two nurse, two um, people going off to study nursing. We have one particular girl that has incredibly great marks from her year 12. She is going to do science and study physics um, at university. Just some awesome people out there doing different things, two vets. So yeah, we have to work on some of the presentation programs tonight. So the weather it's conducive to staying inside and working and of course I want to keep going on Alex's shawl autumn wings shawl my yarny corner Alex it is really a good pattern you'll have to wait and see my review guys thanks for watching don't forget if you want to go into the prize draw for my potiversary 1500 subscriber draw make sure you leave a comment and the question is what is my favorite color until next time stay safe stay well take care of you and your family 
And remember, life's an adventure and you could have a yarny adventure with me. Bye for now.